Hello. It's been a while since we've talked about the Sony XM5s. However, these have given me a very good reason to make this video. Every time I cover the Sony XM5s on this channel, all hell breaks loose because inevitably I say something bad about them. I, you know, I, I point out a negative aspect and the Sony headphone massive comes charging in with their pitchforks calling me an idiot. I've even compared these to the Beats Studio Pro and I said the latter were better. You can imagine what happened then. To add fuel to that fire, I recently tried the Titan headphones, which claim to be able to mimic these. That sounds incredibly pitchfork inducing, so, well, hence this video. But these have a couple of very interesting tricks up their sleeve, which has made them my new headphones of choice for work, including editing. This video is sponsored by Titan, but that doesn't mean I'm going to blindly recommend these to everyone because there's some things that you need to know between these and these, which makes these not right for everyone and these right for some people. Let's just get into it. Let's start this video by talking about the positive things about the Sony XM5s because, contrary to popular belief, I do like these headphones to a degree. And just as a reminder, where have they gone? Where have they gone? Oh no. Oh no, where are they? Where are my, where are my favourite headphones ever? No! <sighs> I'm a massive fan of the Sony XM4s. These are my favourite headphones of all time. So, I'm coming to these with high expectations and the Sony XM5s do deliver in certain areas. I've made a list. The first thing is the price. So at the moment, at the, at the time of filming, you can buy these for £289 on Amazon and they're only £299 on Sony's own website. And that's, it's about 50 quid cheaper than brand new noise cancelling headphones, which is a good thing. The noise cancelling is still the best on the market. You will not find better noise cancelling anywhere else. And to be honest, if that is your main Thing, if that's just what you want, buy these. They're also an incredibly light pair of headphones, which means they are very, I can't hear a thing, obviously. They are very, very comfortable. That is pretty much it on my list of good things about the Sony XM5s. The only other thing to mention really is that they are made by Sony, obviously, and I do have a soft spot for Sony. That there's something about everything Sony makes that is endearing. I love their bonkers smartphones. I love the cameras they make. I, I shoot everything on Sony in here, so they do get a bit of a free pass when it comes to, well, well, anything. However, there are some problems, starting with this, which is the case, as you can see, and yes, I'm... I'm gonna get some stick about this, I know. I always do, but I don't care. It's just too big. It's way too big. It's a silly, silly headphone case. It's not as silly, in fairness, as this. This is the... AirPods Max case, which is just utterly, utterly useless. This isn't useless. It does hold the headphones properly. It does protect them. So if I put them in here, there we go. Nice and sturdy, but the size of my car. And it has this kind of material that folds here. So I think the idea is that as you put books and things in your bag against this, it kind of compresses and goes a bit smaller, but it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. It's just way too big. And the reason it's too big is because these headphones only fold like that. Whereas the brilliant Sony XM4s do that. The next thing on my list is the sound, and this is so frustrating because the Sony XM4s, one of the best things about these headphones is the audio. They sound absolutely fantastic. Yes, they're heavily EQ'd, they're a bit bass heavy for some people, I get that, but for me, they just absolutely nailed it. These are just a bit dull. They're just not very exciting. I think it's something to do with the driver size. They've just, I don't know what Sony have done, they've just, they've made them sound worse. And yes, I know you can EQ them, but I can't get them sounding like these. Going back to how light these things are, they do feel a bit cheap as a result. There's something about the material that Sony has used and just the overall feel of them that makes me a bit nervous for a pair of headphones that, you know, even though they are well priced, they're still 300 quid. And I'm sorry, but the cushions, although they're fairly comfortable, there's not enough padding. How long is that gonna last? And last on my list of things that I don't like about the Sony XM5s is the touch controls. Sony has gone as far as giving us basically two buttons, one for noise cancelling and one for power, and for everything else you have to tap them and I hate it. 
Okay, let's compare the Sony XM5s to the Titan headphones. This is going to be very, very interesting. A quick reminder of the Sony XM5 specs. They have 30 millimeter drivers. They have 30 hours of battery with noise cancelling turned on, Bluetooth 5.2, and they're compatible with SBC, AAC, and LDAC formats. And as mentioned earlier, you can pick them up for about £289 on Amazon. Now, the Titan headphones won't be coming out until later this year on Amazon, and they'll be priced at $349. Now, I don't have the UK pricing to hand, I'm afraid, but they are running a Kickstarter campaign with a big discount, so if you want to check that out, there's a link down below. They've got 50mm beryllium drivers, they've got separate noise cancelling drivers, which I'll come on to in a moment. The exact battery life hasn't been confirmed yet, but they quote it as extra long. It's got Bluetooth 5.3 with a 15 metre range, support for high-res lossless audio, a built-in DAC that is capable of 24-bit audio at 96 kilohertz, and something called Truly Transform form, which I'll explain in a second. Now in terms of design and comfort, the Sony XM5s are much lighter than the Titan headphones. These are a big pair of headphones. However, they have loads more padding. And as a result, I can wear these for longer than these. And these feel a bit more substantial. I know they're a bit more expensive, but you do feel like you're getting more for your money. In terms of the case, that is the Sony XM5 case, and this is the Titan headphone case, and yes, they are pretty much the same size. So it's definitely a tie when it comes to the headphone case. When it comes to controls, the Titan headphones win hands down because they have real buttons. Moving on to sound, and this is where the floodgates open in the comments section. I know, argue amongst yourselves, I really don't care. The Titan headphones somehow blend the ability to be flat sounding reference headphones, which I'm using for video editing and that sort of stuff, with consumer focused noise cancelling headphones. And what I mean by that is that they have this flat sound profile that you can switch on for editing and that sort of thing. And you can then switch to a much more EQ'd, again, consumer friendly sound. And for someone like me, that gives me the flexibility to use these for editing, but also to use them as a regular pair of noise cancelling headphones. And I can't think of another pair of cans on the market that do the same thing. And also, although these both act passively, so you can plug in a cable into both of these headphones and use them with the power off, these are better. And the reason for that is because they do accept that 24-bit, 96 kilohertz audio, and I'm not sure that the Sonys do when you plug them in via cable. It doesn't say that on Sony's website. I couldn't find any reference on Reddit or any of the forums. If you know whether or not the Sony XM5s do that, let me know. Basically, that means the Titan headphones are a fantastic pair of reference headphones, brilliant pair of consumer noise cancelling headphones, and they can do the whole lossless thing as well if you don't mind plugging them in. And these have separate drivers for noise cancelling, so the main drivers in these don't have to do any kind of noise cancelling. That isn't the case with the Sony XM5s, and to be honest, most other noise cancelling headphones on the market, these have to do the noise cancelling and the sound reproduction with the same drivers. Most people won't notice it, I know, but if you're really into your sound, it's the sort of thing that you'll be thinking, oh no, I've got noise cancelling turned on, it is doing something to the audio, I don't like this. You don't get that with these. The big question is, can you make the Titan headphones sound like the Sony XM5s? And what I mean by that is that the Titan headphones have this truly transformed technology, which means you can essentially click a button on the app and turn them in to another pair of headphones. And they've got these, I think, three or four different profiles you can choose from. One of them is an emulation of the XM5s. Now, when you A-B test these in their XM5 mode against a real pair of XM5s, they don't sound like them. There's a, there's a, there's a resemblance, definitely. And to be fair, Titan does explain that it's impossible to make one pair of headphones sound like another pair of headphones because it's not just about the EQ, it's the design, it's the, the secrets that the, the brand put into these. It's pretty much impossible. It's just a nice little party trick, basically, but I wouldn't buy the Titan headphones assuming they can be exactly like these. And that brings me on to my conclusion about which one you should buy.
Let's keep this really simple. If you want the best noise cancelling on the market and you're not too fussed about sound and the size of the case and all that sort of stuff, get these. It is worth bearing in mind as well that if you are bothered about the sound, these do have LDAC support, which is Sony's, not lossless, but it's their version of high res audio for Bluetooth. It only works on Android. It's worth bearing that in mind. You can't use that LDAC codec on the iPhone, but if you have an Android phone, if you want the best noise cancelling, if you know what LDAC is, get these. If you want something really interesting and you're not fussed about the brand name and you, know, you want to try out something that is just a bit different from the rest and which gives you guaranteed lossless audio playback over cable and which has separate noise cancelling drivers which you know means that you're not getting noise cancelling stuff ruining the sound get these this has been a really interesting headphone comparison and i think i've been fairly fair about the xm5s let me know if you think i've been fair in the comments or if you think i'm still an idiot for saying bad things about them and if you're really interested in the titan headphones keep watching for a link to my full review